Holly High Ram versus truck. Which one makes more power on a mild 4.8 liter? The results might surprise you. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. Today, I was dyno testing and I got surprised. That's right. And I was surprised by the results of an intake test on a 4.8 liter. And I was comparing a high ram and a truck. Now for a 4.8, even one with a mild camshaft like we had, we had a Brian Tooley Racing NSR, no springs required truck Norris cam, but it's a 4.8. And I was running a truck manifold, which I recommend all the time. And I was running it against a high ram, which I never recommend on the 4.8 liter. But today the results were surprising. What do I mean? Check okay, out. guys, we got our 4.8 liter. I'll go ahead and show you a photo right here. And we're going to install our high ram. Now, the high ram is normally an intake manifold designed, like I think, for racing. It's a fairly short runner manifold, does very well at high RPM, especially on a 4.8 liter. But I'm going to run it on a mild cam 4.8 liter anyway and see how it compares to the truck manifold. So let's get the high ram installed, get the motor up on the dyno, and make some pulls with that high ram and see how it does. Then we'll pop off the high ram and install the truck manifold. Okay, we've got our high ram on. So we've got our O-ring in here. Got our bolts on. Now it's time to install the fuel rails, and then the lid.
Okay, as you can see, we have our truck manifold on. <laughs> I don't know how we get excited about putting a truck manifold on, but we're gonna compare it to the high ram and find out which one makes more power and where they make power. So we've got it on, let's get it started up. Let's make some noise. Okay, and now it's time to take a look at the dyno results comparing our factory 4.8 liter truck intake manifold versus the much bigger short runner Holly High Ram. Our test motor was an LR4, meaning it was a junkyard 4.8 liter. This one had a lot of problems initially on. We fixed all of them, but it had broken rockers, had a broken camshaft, <laughs> broken lifters and push rods and things. But we finally put it all back together and it was running right. And so it's a good little test motor now, but it was equipped with stock springs, but we did change the camshaft out of Brian Tooley Racing, no springs required, which is why we use the sock springs. Yet we're still revving this thing to 7,000 RPM. So it was the uh, NSR Truck Norris camshaft. And we had long tube, inch and seven eighths long tube headers, uh, long collector extensions, and the MagnaFlow straight through three inch, you know, high flow mufflers. We had a Holly HP management system on it. We had 80 pound injectors in it because we would eventually run E85 and the little blower on here the M90 with the adapter plate, the Super Richie adapter plate. But in our naturally aspirated combination, we compared the high ram to the truck manifold. And this is what happened when we ran the factory truck manifold and truck throttle body. Our combination produced 300. And this, by the way, is also, we're running this on E85 and not pump gas, just because we had already run the supercharger on here with the E85 and we just kept the E85 in for this test. So our combination with the truck manifold made 390 horsepower out here at 6600 66 6700 rpm and peak torque checked in at 362 foot pounds and here's what happened when we ran the holly high ram you can see i'll go ahead and label these the holly high ram made quite a bit more power 411 horsepower but peak torque was actually down compared to the truck 355 foot pounds of torque. In fact, the truck manifold, as we have come to expect, made more torque all the way out to the crossover was 5,600 RPM. So everywhere below that, the truck manifold was better. But above that, the high ram made quite a bit. And I'm, I'm, I was interested in this test and it kind of surprised me that the high ram like we have changes here at 4,400 RPM, 334 foot pounds for the high ram and 350 foot pounds for the truck manifold. So about 17 foot pounds of torque better. I kind of thought that the difference was going to be much more dramatic comparing the high ram to the, the short runner high ram to the long runner truck, but it actually did fairly well and made a pretty significant amount more power. And again, this is all the way out, you know, we're revving this thing to 7,000 RPM and at with a high ram, it's actually making power out at 67, 6800 RPM. So it's doing well, especially considering this is a very, very mild truck Norris cam. I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. Let me know in the comments. Would you now consider running a high ram on your 4.8?